Understanding how the brain works with its billions of interconnected neurons is no simple feat. But what if you could find a switch and start turning parts of the brain on or off? Maybe then you could begin untangling the mystery of how things work. Over the course of five decades, three scientists contributed to the discovery of such a switch. But its origin doesn't begin with brains or even animals. It begins with these, ancient salt-loving microbes. Back in the 1970s, biochemist Dieter Oesterheld identified a light-activated protein in archaea. Many scientists were skeptical at the time because these proteins were thought to be found only in the visual systems of higher animals. But Oesterheld showed that this protein was a light-activated proton pump, moving protons out of the cell and allowing the microbes to convert light into chemical energy. Over time, researchers began to realize that there was a whole family of these light-triggered microbial proteins. Two of these, called channel rhodopsin 1 and 2, were identified by the scientist Peter Hagerman. These were really exciting because they controlled the flow of ions into a cell, similar to how a nerve cell would. If they could be inserted into an animal cell, then maybe they could act as little cellular switches. So Hagerman's team set about placing these proteins into animal cells, demonstrating that this could be done and that they responded to light. After this, scientists became interested in how these proteins might help uncover the inner workings of the brain. Researchers, including Carl Dyseroff, experimented with placing them into cultured nerve cells and then eventually within the brain of a living mouse. They targeted an area in the brain that controlled movement and when they switched the light on, it was captivating to watch. Using a simple light signal, they had induced specific and repeatable behavior. This and the work from other laboratories led to the birth of a new field of science called optogenetics. In the following years, optogenetics research exploded with scientists uncovering cellular pathways involved in mediating anxiety, thirst, hunger, and parenting in mice. Thanks to the work of these three researchers, as well as many more, we are now one step closer to illuminating the neural circuitry of our own brains.